Joel Embiid just showed everyone on live television why he is the MVP of the league. Now, before I get into that performance, disclaimer, I'm not a Jokic hater, I may be a Sixers fan, but I do appreciate and understand Jokic's greatness. And did he just maybe deserve that first MVP? maybe but me being a Sixers fan ain't no way Joel didn't win it last year but that's in the past Jokic has got his two congrats to him but last night Embiid was the best man on the floor now to Jokic's defense slightly but not really because you have to give 110% it looked like Jokic didn't give it his all and Embiid was going full throttle giving 155% so that's not taken away from Embiid's performance and that's not cutting Jokic some slack I'm just saying that Embiid wanted it more it didn't look like Jokic was that engaged especially defensively like that step back three Embiid hit on Jokic like Jokic played back on him as if Embiid couldn't shoot and then realized at the last second Oh shit, let me close out on that shot, but it was a bit too late and B knocked it down. But as a whole, a completely dominant performance. 47 points, 18 rebounds, 2 blocks, 4 assists, just ridiculous. And the Sixers again with another what's becoming trademark win. Like, I'm getting sick and tired of us being down by nearly 20 in the second quarter. We did it against the Clippers, now the Nuggets, the Kings, so many other games, but we're finding ways to rally back, make a comeback. And I'm, not, I'm gonna say this right now, it's not just Joel Embiid that's part of these comebacks. Another name who's a major part of these comebacks is George Niang. He's coming up big with these threes. He helps draw the game to 12, then to six, then to whatever. I know I skipped nine, but I'm just saying, he just hits big threes here and there. And he's becoming someone that you can really trust on down in the stretch and in general but yeah joel showed everyone on live tv why he's the best player in the league <laughs> maybe i'm exaggerating but he's definitely up there and the fact this man is not an all-star starter is beyond ridiculous like we understand at this point the nba media don't like him he's not the most liked player but the talent the numbers it all speaks for himself Embiid is generational Jokic is also generational and let me just say this right now yoke you might have got your previous two it's my boy jojo's time to get one now but honestly for those of you who don't like your don't like your kids you're an Embiid fan or you don't like Embiid because you're a Joker fan appreciate both of them while we're here because we're never going to see this kind of big man big man what's the word rivalry in time they don't dislike each other they're not particular rivals and sets of teams but two big men that are this talented like Embiid we've never seen this level of scoring before I don't think we'll ever see a center that's seven foot nearly average a 25 point triple double but they're both brilliant in their own rights they're both dominating the league and they're both showing each other that the center position ain't dead like let's say hypothetically the top five players two of them are Jokic and Embiid they're both centers so that really speaks for itself but honestly that's all I got for this video. Embiid is ridiculous. He's that guy. He's the MVP. He's the best player in the league. And that's all I got for this video. Peace.